What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're going to be drawing Gigantamax Charizard from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now because this character is quite large, it's going to fill up the entire page. So let's start at the very top, in the center of the page, we're going to draw on the upper eyelid. Start with a curve going up, and then down on the inside. Now let's go back to the outside, we're going to do a little overlap. We're going to step in, draw a curve coming around, and then over towards the right. Now we're going to connect the bottom to the top with a curve. We're going to go up, and then across. Let's add the iris along the top. We're going to draw a half circle, starting from the center, curve down, and then back up. Let's draw on the brow. Starting from the right side, we're going to curve out, and then up towards the top of the brow. Now we're going to curve across, going up, and then out towards the left. And then from here, we're just going to curve down, and then out. Let's draw on the horn. About halfway along this curve, Go out, and then pull that down towards the tip of the horn. We just want to flatten this off with a short angled line, coming down and in. And then we're going to taper this back in, so it gets a little bit wider as it come in towards the head. Let's move back to the right and draw the top edge of the muzzle. So halfway along the curve of the brow, we're going to go out, and then up towards the top. And I just want to round out the top, going up, and then back down on the right side. I just want to add the edge of the right brow in behind. So we start at the top of the left brow. We're going to curve out and down in behind the top of the muzzle. Now we're going to work our way down towards the top edge of the mouth. Let's start on the right. We're going to curve out and then down. Then I just want to curve across. We're going to go up and then back down. From here we're going to curve down and then out towards the left. Let's add two fangs. Curve down and then in. And we're going to taper that back up. Let's do one more. Curving down and in. And we're going to go up towards the corner of the mouth. Let's draw on the side of the mouth. From here, we're going to curve around and then down towards the bottom. And then we're going to work our way across towards the front edge of the mouth. We curve down and then across. Let's draw on the chin. From here, we're going to curve down and in. I'm going to go back up towards the left. Now we're going to curve across towards the jaw. Go up and then out. Now we're just going to round out the jaw. I'm going to take this point, we're going to round this out, aiming up towards the base of that horn, but we're not going to go all the way. We're going to go out and then up to right about there. Now we're going to go back and add some fangs. Let's start from this point. I'm going to curve down and over towards the left. And then we're going to taper that back up. Now we go to the outside, curve down and over towards the left. And then again, we're going to taper that back up toward the top of the mouth. Let's add some fangs along the bottom. Starting from the bottom corner here, curve out and up. And we'll taper that back down. And we'll go to the outside and do the same thing. Let's add two smaller fangs inside up and then down. Now we're going to leave a gap and do that one more time. Now we're going to show the back side of the mouth. We start at the very top, we curve down, and then out in behind the bottom fang. Now before we start working our way down towards the neck, I want to add a flame on the tip of the horn. So from this point, I'm going to step up, curve up, and then down. And I'm just going to round this out and then go back up. Let's taper this back in with a short curve. I'm going to go out towards the tip of the flame. Go out and up. I'm going to round this out and then go back out towards the left. Now I'm just going to work our way back in towards the base of the horn. So I'm at the tip. We're going to come around and then in. Curve down and out again. Now I'm just going to curve this in behind the corner of the horn. Now from here, we want to define the height of the character. I want to bring the body all the way down towards the bottom of my page. So right about here, we're going to start from the base of the neck, underneath the chin, start by coming down, and then out, towards the outside of the body. We want to round this out and then come down towards the bottom. Rounding out the edge of the body, come down, and just pull that in towards the bottom. 
Now right where the neck turns into the front of the body, we're gonna locate the shoulder. So right here we draw a curve, starting from the inside, curve up and then down. It's drawn the back of the arm. Then the end of the shoulder, we're gonna step up, curve out, and then down towards the elbow. Now we're gonna pull the forearm in towards the fingers. Come down, and then back in. Now we're gonna add in the claws. From this point, we're gonna step up, curve down, and then hook that in. Now I just wanna taper that back up. Curve out, and then up. We're gonna continue the curve of the finger, going up, and then in. Now we're gonna blend this in towards the center finger. Going up, down, we're just gonna hook around the claw. Let's take the tip of the claw, taper up and then out. Let's draw in the third claw. Starting out here, go up, down, and then in. And then we're gonna taper that back up in behind the center finger. Now we wanna show the inside of the palm in behind these claws. So we're gonna start on the inside edge of this finger, Go down and then hook this up. And we're going to step back, curve down in behind. We're going to continue up and in behind that third finger. Now let's go in and separate out the claws. Starting in here, we're going to curve up and then down. Go to the inside, curve up and back down. And the same thing on the third finger. Now let's draw on the top of the form. Starting from the center finger, curve up and then out aiming towards the elbow, we're gonna leave a gap along the side. And then we're gonna move back to the top of the forearm, we curve up and then in. Now we're gonna add a flame around the shoulder, starting from the base of the shoulder on the inside, we curve out and then up. Now I'm just gonna swirl this around, curving down, up, and then back out towards the right. Let's taper this back out and then down towards the top of the shoulder. And then from here, we're gonna curve up and out toward the left. And as you get near the top, we're gonna pull this back up. Let's taper this down, curving out and then in. And I'm just gonna round this out and go back up. Let's pull this back in towards the shoulder, come down and then in. Now we're gonna go in the opposite direction. Curve up and out toward the left. Pull this in. Round it up and then in behind the arm. Now let's move back up and draw on the back of the neck. Starting from the base of the horn, curve out around the jaw, come down and then in behind the flame. Now we're gonna add another layer of fire in behind the body, but on top of the right arm. So we start out here, curve out and then up. And we'll taper that back in. Now we draw a wave, going out, in, and then back out. Let's taper that back in, coming in, down, and then back in, and then go back up again with a curve. Let's swirl this around, come down, up, and then back out. Now we're gonna pull this in, down, and then back in behind the body. Now we wanna duplicate this hand on the outside. So we're gonna line up this point right out here. Start with a point, curve up and in, round up the claw and go back out. Now we're just gonna taper that back up with a short line. Let's draw on the center finger. Starting here, we're gonna curve up, round up the top and pull that back in. And we're gonna taper that back up. Let's add one more finger. Along the side, curve out, down and then in. And then we'll pull that back up, tucking that in behind that center finger. Let's add the inside of the palm. Start on the inside edge of this finger, curve out and then up. And we're gonna do an overlap. Stepping down, curve across in behind that center finger and then back up. Let's separate out the claws. Now from the top of the first finger, we go in and then up in behind the body. Now we're gonna move down, curve down and then in. Let's move back over towards the left. We're gonna draw on the back going in towards the thigh. 
So underneath the arm, we draw a short angled line coming down and out. Now we're gonna round out the side of the thigh. Go out, round this out. Now it's gonna pull that in. And we're sort of aiming towards that bottom line. Let's go back to the top. We're gonna leave the gap. Start on the right side. We're gonna curve in the opposite direction. Curving out towards the right, down. I'm gonna to aim towards that bottom line, but leaving a gap along the center. Now let's draw on the left foot. From this point, we're gonna step out, draw a straight angle line coming down, and round up the heel, and then go back out towards the left. Now I'm gonna round this out, and then come down towards the bottom of the foot. Now we just wanna close off this gap. We're just gonna continue this curve in behind the foot. Now we're gonna add three claws along the bottom of the foot. We start with the ball of the foot, coming down and out towards the left. Let's draw on the top of the first claw. We're gonna go up, round this out, and then come down. And then we're gonna taper this up and in towards the bottom of the socket. Now we're gonna to go to the outside of this claw and curve the top of the toe, going around and back in. Let's draw on the second claw. Starting from the outside of the toe, we'll curve up and down. And then again, we're gonna taper this back up and in. Let's draw on the top of the second toe. Starting up here, curve up and then over. Now we're gonna do that one more time. Starting on the outside of the toe, curve up and then down. And we'll taper that back in behind. Now let's draw on the top of the third toe up and then down. Now from here I'm going to do an overlap. We we'll step back up, curve in, and then up in behind the thigh. Let's move over and draw on the right leg. We're going to line this up from this point out towards the side of the body. We're going to curve out and then down towards the knee. Now I'm just going to round out the knee, come down, and then pull that up. Now let's draw on the foot. From this point, we're gonna line this up in towards the body. Start in here, curve out, and then down. We're gonna round up the heel, and then go straight out. Now let's add in the three claws. Starting from here, we're gonna curve up, and then hook that down. And we're gonna taper that back up in towards the bottom of the foot. Let's add a second one. Starting up here, curve up, and then down. Keep that back in. We'll do that one more time. Let's add the top of the toes. In between the claws, curve up and then down. Go in between the second set, curve up and then down. Now from the top of the third toe, we'll go up and then down. Now we're gonna go in and up in behind the thigh. Let's move to the back and draw on the tail. We're gonna line up with the bottom of the body over towards the left side of the leg. Start by curving out, rounding up the tail, and then coming back in. We're gonna blend into a curve going back out. Going up, and then out. Now we just wanna break up the edge of the tail. So from here, we're just gonna taper this in and then down. Go up with a short line, and then go down with a short line. Now the tail's gonna get wider as we come back in towards the body. So we're gonna start up here. I'm gonna taper this going in, down, pull that in behind the side of the leg. Now we're gonna draw a small cloud circling the tip of the tail. So from here we're gonna step up, we're drawing a small backwards C. Let's go to the top of the C, we're gonna curve up and then down. We're gonna draw a series of half circles going all the way around. We can vary the size. Going small, go larger, and we're gonna start to bend this in. A small C, come down and up, and do that one more time. Now let's work our way back in. From here we're going to curve all the way around, out, do a little curve here. I'm just going to work our way back towards the base of that backward C. Now we're going to take this and flip it over on the right side. So we're going to start with a C, start with the inside. And down and up. I'm just going to start to bring this back around towards the tail. Now we'll round out the bottom and go back up. 
I'm gonna work our way back up towards the inside. Now we're gonna tuck one more cloud in behind the tail. Starting down here, we go up and down. Here's a small half circle. Now I'm just gonna bring this back around. Going back in. In behind the tail. Now let's add the flame on the tip of the tail. From the tip, we curve out and up in behind the cloud. We go up towards the top of the cloud, curve in and then back out. Now we taper that back in with a short line. Let's do another one. We go out and then back in over towards the right side. Now we do a swirl. Curve down and in, pull that back. From here we're going to curve in, out, and then back in, curve out, and we're going to work our way back in towards the base of the tail. So we're going to curve in behind the cloud, come down towards the bottom, we're going to curve down, and then in towards the tail. Let's add that large fiery wing in the back. We start at the back of the neck, curve out, and then up, and curve that back down. Now we're going to go out up, and then back out again. Let's add a swirl. Curve in, around, and back up. I'm just gonna pull this down, and then out. Now we go out towards the tip of the flame. Go up, down, and then back up. Now we're gonna work our way along the bottom of the flame. Starting from the top, come down, in, and then down out and then up. Now we're just going to tuck this in behind the tail flame, continue in between. Now we're just going to pull that down. From here we're going to go out, in behind, and up. Pull that back in. Now we're just going to go in behind the cloud. Let's go down towards the bottom of the cloud, curve down and in. We'll do one more point. We're going to curve out and up. And down and in behind the arm. Let's add that trim along the lower part of the body. We're starting the outside. We're going to draw a wiggly line. Some randomized curve going all the way around in behind the hand. From the bottom of the hand, we'll curve down in behind the thigh. Let's go down towards the bottom of the thigh on the tail. It's going to taper this wiggly line out towards the side. Let's add a few spots some random size circles along the top edge of this curve. Let's add those diamond patterns along the legs and the center of the body. We start on the left leg first. Right in here we start with a point. Come down and out toward the left and right. And then come down and in toward the center. Let's move up and draw another set. And we'll add a smaller one along the top. Let's add one on the inside. And then one on the outside here. Let's move over towards the body. So down here we're going to add another diamond. Come down the sides. And then in towards the middle. Now we're going to move up and draw another one. Now the ones on the side are going to angle up and out. So start with a short line going across the bottom. Go up. And we go up to a center point. Add a diamond on this side. And one on the inside. Now this is going to get tucked in along the side of the body. So we go up, down, and back out. Add a smaller one along the bottom. And we'll draw one more in an angle down here, going out towards the left. Let's move all the way over towards the right leg and add a few more. Start with one in the center. Come down, we'll add a small one along the bottom. And then we're going to tuck one on the side of the knee, going up, down, 
and then out. Now to finish off our drawing, we want to add a few flame particles around the outside. Let's start on the outside, just above the tail. Curve out, in, and out. Connect the top and bottom with a curve. Let's go to the top. Start from the top and curve out and in. Go back to the top, we'll curve in the opposite direction. Now let's go to the right shoulder. Curve up, out, and then up. Start at the bottom and curve up, out, and up towards that top point. And then we'll add a few spots. Starting at the top here, we'll add a circle, one above the head, a couple more above the right shoulder. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Gigantamax Charizard from Pokemon Sword and Shield. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.